welcome to the Slicky the Clown Show. As I promised, we are going to have a great guest. I want to introduce to you Mr. James King, big fan of mine. Give me a great favor. We went out and took a bunch of photos of yours truly. James, tell them about the photos that we took. Well, uh, a lot of the photos bounced in different directions. We had to work with lighting to make them as possibly eerie as you as we can do. It's kind of difficult. You made that hard on me. Well, the first place we took our photos was over at the Fairview Cemetery. Great type of place. People are just dying to get in there. And for those of you that don't know where Fairview is, don't worry. It's where old people go after it's Florida. So, tell them about the cemetery. What was your favorite part of the cemetery? It's definitely not the walking. Not the walking. Not the, the walking. hills are no fun. Mm -hmm. Even for a big clown like me. But I think uh, taking pictures while you got to hang on different trees and said statues was yeah. pretty fun. You'll see what we're talking about. Next, it brings us to our next place where we took our photos. We went down to Fisherman's Park. Now, to help keep people a little more secure, we, we decided not to get shots on the playground equipment. Too many little ones. But I want to thank the Mennonite gentlemen out there for being kind of understanding. And the rest of those people, oh, who cares? They were scared. Great. So tell them, what was your favorite part of that shot? You know, I think the best shots we had there was... Uh using certain forest areas to uh, mask some amounts of your presence as much as we could. You'll see what we mean. These are those pictures down at the Fisherman's Park. So now that brings us, we decided to move on. We moved on to Bob Bryant Park. Much better atmosphere. Great aesthetics. Tell him about this section. This is my favorite part. Oh, man. He, uh, I think we became the most goofball we could be at that point. We were tired. We'd been walking everywhere all day. And we were just all out with it. I think we, uh, had fun when we went down to the Colorado River. That was, a that was a pretty good set of photos. I think we had a lot of fun there. I really liked the lighting. I liked the how it was starting to get dark. It was kind of hard to get, get some lighting back in there. But I think your things are good. Oh, yeah, that uh, red sunset definitely pulled out your best colors. I agree, I agree. This is what we're talking about, folks. Enjoy. This next section of the video is real simple. It's, sim it's simply titled, Why I Am NOT Twisty the Clown! Here's a couple of pictures for you and you'll understand if you're smart. You can see the differences. Before he became Twisty, he was just kind of a dopey clown with a red nose. After Twisty, he's a crazy idiot, trapped in the reality that they made for him by a whole bunch of lies. Then he goes crazy and kills people. He wears a white suit with red pom-poms. I don't wear that! His face doesn't look like mine either. He doesn't even have a red nose when he's Twisty the Clown. And he's wearing somebody's scalp instead of an awesome hat. 
So as you can see, I am not twisting a fucking clown! I didn't come from an American Horror Story! Well, I'm not inspired by American Horror Story! So drop it! The next person that accuses me of being Twisty the Clown, I'm going to punch in the throat! I'm not Twisty. I am Slinky the Clown. There's a couple other copycats out there doing rodeo clowning, kids parties, or fooling around over in Mexico, but I guarantee you, none of them are as Slinky as I am. Most of them don't even have a Slinky on them! I've got two, if not three. I'm the one, the couch. Slinky the Clown. Not that twisty knockoff that got killed by a ghost. How ridiculous. Alright, folks. That brings us close to the end. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Time for some shout-outs. Hello, Bree. Brianna Pyle, I see you. Sergio, Tori, Angela, Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Yes, this is a time to laugh. I'm talking to you. Cover your face while you're laughing. There you go. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Robert, bring the crowd out. Everyone, I want to see you this Friday. Don't forget. Who else am I forget? Oh, yeah. I got to say hi. Hi, Shelby. Hello, Cynthia. Hey, TJ, how you doing? Charlie, go get Amber. This is her part of the video. Hi. Nice to see you. Alright. Enough fun and games. Back to me and James. Wait a minute. Did I just make a rhyme? I think I did. Alright, James. So, tell the people a little about yourself. You're a ticket winner. You're going to come out and see us. Yeah, I got a big surprise for you later. And uh, as, as, as I mentioned on the Quiet Time of Slinky show, he brought me a beautiful card. I love fan mail. And, and, and I'm always into toys. The more or collectibles, them too. The, be the more the better, especially when it's Star Wars. If you don't like Star Wars, you suck. Believe me, that works as both a toy and a collectible. I did for many years. Absolutely. I love it. So uh, tell me a little about yourself. Was in drumline in high school. Uh, I help out at a camp with kids every year. We're not allowed to go with Slinky the Clown, though. It was kind of sad. No. But, you know, uh, I generally try to do things to help out as where I can in the community. I volunteered at the library a few times. Uh, you'll probably see me floating around if you're in Bastrop because literally Bastrop is that tiny. It is. And you'll see him if you come out to Scream Hollow. Remember, we open. This Friday, 7 p.m., be there. Most of you got tickets, you got no excuse. Literally um, no excuse. Well, the big surprise is Mr. James has kind of become the official photographer for yours truly. So hit those like buttons and hit those share buttons. I want to see him. Hashtag Slinky the Clown. The pictures will be up on the Facebook page and the website. Be sure you hit the like buttons and share them everywhere. And spread the word, the man's got a gift. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that kind of brings us to the end here. So remember, we'll be seeing you this Friday. Scream Hollow, 7 p.m. It's beginning, and you're going to love it. And be sure to keep an eye out for yours truly on the Zombie Life TV show. Thursday night, 10 o'clock. I'll see you later. I said I wanted to possess you. How would that make you feel?